Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. My name is Joe Wicks and this is day number four of my 21 days of strength challenge where I'm sharing a brand new workout every day for 21 days focusing on a different group of muscles all about strength training. So today you are going to need a bench or a step. We're going to also be using three pairs of dumbbells. I've got a light set for some lateral shoulder raises which is five kilograms. I've got a sort of medium set in between for some overhead press shoulder press which is 12 kilograms and I've got a pair of 22 kilograms which is my heavy set of single arm rows. Obviously choose the weights that are suitable for you. We're going to start things off with the lightest dumbbells you've got and again these are hard, that's why I've gone quite light because we're going to do some lateral raises just to activate the muscles in our shoulders and um, sort of pre, pre exhausting before the big shoulder press. So we're going to do 15 reps. Uh, what we want to do here is a slight bend of the elbow and just raise those arms horizontal to the ground 15 times. You ready? Let's go. So lifting one, control on the way down. Two, three, perfect. Trying to keep those arms parallel to the ground, nice and level. Four, keep them symmetrical. Five, six. So control these weights on the way down as well. Seven, Eight, perfect. 15 of these and we rest. Nine, 10, okay, five more reps. Squeeze and control it. 11, 12, 13, two more. Lift with the shoulders. 14, last rep. And rest, perfect. You might find that one sort of Slightly stronger than the other, or if your shoulder's a bit tight, but try your best to you know, not come up awkward and um, unbalanced. Try and keep them nice and symmetrical. So, again, the arms aren't dead straight, they're not really bent. There's a kind of just a soft bend in the elbow. So, we're really trying to use our shoulders here, our deltoids, to just lift that weight. So, we're going to do two more sets of those. Then, we're going to go into the heavier set with some either standing or seated um, shoulder press. So, it's going to be elbows come out. Press above the head, so again, hitting the shoulders, and then we're going to go back onto the, the light set. So there's five exercises in total, and we're doing three rounds on each move. Right, so another 30 second rest. My body's quite stiff this week because we've been pushing every muscle group quite hard, so I am feeling a bit stiff up from that chest one all through there. Triceps are stiff, a bit tight. Right. You can do these obviously seated if you want, but I'm going to go for standing. Second set, again, slight bend in the elbow, lift and raise. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six. Remember, control on the way down as well. Seven, ah, eight, by side, nine, ten, oh, these are heavy, five more, eleven, twelve, lift for those shoulders, come on, pull them up, thirteen, fourteen, last rep, Second set, one more of those. Then we're going to get those mid sized weights for the overhead press. We're going to be doing 10 to 12. So pick a weight that's going to you know, challenge you, but you don't want to be like you know, arching, bouncing, let's do it strict. So if you go after oh, our shoulders are going to be tired after these, so we've pre fatigued them in a way, and then so the pressing is going to feel much harder. So don't, don't go too heavy. Get a weight you're comfortable that you can get your elbows out. Full extension for 10 to 12 reps. Oh, shoulders dead. They're quite a small muscle, so once they, once you hit them with a few sets, they fatigue pretty quickly. Right. 
Hope you're enjoying the challenge so far. I like the accountability. I set myself the goal of every day from the 1st of September up until my birthday on the 21st to do a different strength workout. So it's, uh, this is our fourth day and I've set myself a goal to doing anything, even if it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, just move my body every day until my birthday. And I'll let you know the baby hasn't arrived yet, but it's due, it's due today, the due date is today. So it's coming and I won't be getting as much sleep. So I've got to just keep, even if we do 15, 20 minutes, I'll be happy with it. Right, here we go. Okay, so I'm a slight bend in the elbow and we lift and raise. One, two, control yourself, control the weights. Three, five, uh, six, last set on these. Seven, I'm a slight bend in the elbows. Eight, nine, ah, ten, five more, eleven, oh, twelve, ah, two more, sorry, three more, thirteen, ah, these are so heavy now, fourteen, much strict, last rep, strict, squeeze, and down, ah, oh. Oh. Alright. Oh. As you can see, that's a really effective exercise for the shoulders and you don't need to go heavy. I could probably do a bit heavier, but I'd be dropping them down, dropping them down at So I'm, I, I much prefer slowing things down, lighter weight, get the full squeeze. That has really, really activated the shoulders. Okay, so we can get those little ones out of the way for now. So I've got a pair of 12 kilos here. And again, you can stand if you want, want to. If you prefer. Or seated. I'm just, I'm not using an elevated bench. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna support the back. I'm just gonna sort of keep this. So I've got, if you have got a flat bench, you haven't got to worry about it. So basically, so from here, I'm going to elbows out. I'm going to press above the head. So down, slow, and up. Oh, these feel heavy, man. Let's have another minute's rest. Yeah, just try not to arch your back. I'm trying to sort of, you know, compensate and arch back. Really keep a nice neutral spine. Elbows tucked back. Oh, it's hard. I'm just putting my, pushing my arm above the head. Right, ready for our first set. So the aim for me and you is 10 reps, 10 to 12 reps with good form. If you hit eight and you're not quite there and you're not, if you're losing the form, just put them down. So 10 to 12 is the aim. If it feels really light and you're not struggling on the 10th, 11th, 12th rep, then you've probably got a lighter weight. You can probably go you're probably a bit stronger. Okay, ready? Up we go. So, itch your nose. Right, so elbows out. We're going for 10 to 12 reps. Let's go. Press one, two, oh, that's good. Good tempo, keep this tempo. Three, four, elbows out. Five, six, seven, right, they're getting heavy now. Eight. Nine. Ten, I think I've got 12, I've got 12. Two more. Eleven, last rep. Whoa. Ah, cool. That's hard, All right. Oh, they don't take long to fatigue your shoulders. So there's, there's probably, there's four shoulder exercises in this workout and only one back exercise. So it's, it's more shoulders than back today. Because obviously I do have a pull up bar and I've got some bands where I do sort of seated rows and things, but 
I want to make them a bit more accessible, so I'm just using a bench and a dumbbell. Oh, that was hard. So we've got to keep the um, rest period slightly longer during these sets because you can't just go no way I'll get straight back into that. So another little minute break, break. I like that strength turns away, so you can go at your own pace, it's not, it's not so high intensity, if you're exhausted or a bit tired, it's not a, it's easy just to get in and have a little go in it and move about, and you're still burning lots of energy. Right. Okay, ready for the second set? Okay, I think I'm ready. Second set, um, again, I'm probably going to struggle with 12, but I'm going to aim for 10. Okay, here we go. 10 reps. Let's go like, oh, that's a bit now. I'll just start again. Right, let's go. One, two, control on the way down, slow reps. Three, full extension. Four, five, I'm going for 10. Six, oh, heavy, heavy weight. Come on, get strong now. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, last rep. Yeah, that's me. Oh, when you know, you know, don't you? Uh, right, second set complete. One more to go. I'm gonna give myself a two minute break now, so proper two minute break. Might have a little stretch quickly. Stretch the lats and the shoulders a little bit. So one more of those. Another great stretch, we come to the side. And get your, your chest tight from yesterday. Just put your elbow there on the side and just sort of push down into your chest. Everything feels tight. This has been a big week of training. Change sides if you want to have a stretch. So tomorrow, I'm going to do legs and abs. I'm going to get the abs involved. So tomorrow's going to be lower body and abs, different variations. Big stretch to that chest. Right. We start again. Thirty seconds time. Third and final set of the shoulder press. So if you want to, you can do these standing as well. If you don't want to see, just make sure that you're not like, don't bow to the legs, try and keep them strict, yeah? I'm gonna stay seated. Okay, final set. Whew, right. Yeah, shoulders are getting tired now. Ready? Here we go, lifting up the weights. Final, 10 reps to finish. Let's go, one, Getting down to the elbow, two elbows come wide, elbows just hit the shoulders, press three, four, five, oh, getting heavy now, six, seven, ah, three more, eight, okay, final two reps, come on Joe. Nine, last rep. Right. Ah, oh, that was a decent weight for me. I'm glad I chose 12, but I did actually originally get 14s, but there's no way I would have done 10 reps. Okay, so next exercise, we're gonna do another shoulder exercise. We're gonna do a 
frontal raise. So whereas before it was lateral, sort of working the outside of the shoulder, we're going to try and now work the front of the shoulder. So we're going to be doing a frontal raise, using the light lumbars again. So like so. You can do them individually like this, but I'm going to go both at the same time. So up and down. So I just rotate from the side there up to the front. So that's our next exercise. And we're going to go for some higher reps, so 15 reps on this. Three sets of 15. Then we're going to go into a back exercise and finishing with a final shoulder move. So here we go. Frontal raise, we're springing now up to just eye level, yeah? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go for fifteen minutes if we can. Seven. Eight. Slow and controlled. Last five, these are the tough ones now. Decent, right? You'll feel that, and the shoulders also sort of the upper back as well as working a little bit. So two more then. Then we're going to go into the heavy, like single arm row. So we're rowing, using our bit of a bicep, but upper back lats to squeeze that weight up. Right, you ready? Going again in 30 seconds time for our second set of front, frontal shoulder raise. Oh, shoulders gone. Doesn't take much, is it, for the shoulders? Okay. Here we go. So same again. Three, two, one, let's go lift. So up and down. Good to get them eye level. Exercise. Oh. Five. Six. Keep lifting. Shoulders. Seven. We're not swinging them up. We're really contracting the shoulder blades. Are they scapulars? Sorry. Deltoid. Eight. Can't talk on the exercise. Nine. Can't talk and count. Sorry. Nine. Last five. Come on, shoulders. Eleven. Twelve. Ah, heavy now, aren't they? Heavy now. Thirteen. These are the last two reps now. Make them count. Squeeze. Final rep. Ah. Ah, that burns. That really burns. Right. It's a bit longer to rest now. <coughs> ah. I should feel it much more in the front of the shoulders. This is going to give you a really nice shape in your arms and just give you real strength. So, you know, upper body strength is great. You want, to have, you want every muscle to be strong, but that's why I'm trying to break the muscle groups down so that you're not just doing everything all at once. So we're really isolating, focusing on a certain muscle group, giving it a little bit more volume. So to really build some strength. Right. Oh, my shoulders feel dead. So we're going to do one more, sorry, one back exercise, and then a finish. So the last thing we're going to do, this is called an Arnold press. This is what apparently Arnold Schwarzenegger invented it. So we start like this, and you come up, and you sort of rotate. So you're working your shoulder and, or the front of your shoulder and sort of rear as well at the same time. So 
bit of a base, I'll demo it quickly for you. So it's from there, you start this and as you, you come up, and then you sort of rotate back in and up. So that's the, the old Arnold press. Okay, ready for our last set of frontal raises? Here we go, 15 reps with strength. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, last set, ten, eleven, ah, eleven, come on, twelve, Thirteen. Fourteen. Nice rep. Ooh. Ah. Right. Done with everyone's now. So now we're going to go for the heavy single arm rows. So basically, you only need one really. It's going to be knee on the bench or the step whatever you're using. And we're going to go this arm sort of not directly under, a little bit further forward. So, get a nice straight back, grabbing the dumbbell. This is your heavier set because you haven't got your bigger and stronger back muscles. So, from there, we're not pulling it straight above this because that's really just your bicep. We're sort of almost pulling it in towards the hip so you activate the lats, yeah? So, like this one down. Two, down, so again, slow, controlled. Think about the muscles in your lats, you're pulling from here, so squeeze. See, it's not just coming directly up. You sort of put it almost like back towards your hip and you feel the muscles activate. So we're gonna go for, again, 10 to 12 on each side. Three sets, and we finish that last arm press. You ready? Okay, so. Your foot's not too close, to step out of it, so sort of form that kind of triangle, sort of pyramid base, and we pull from there. Okay, one, two, pull to the hip, three, slow, four, good, nice straight back. Don't arch the back like this, keep it nice and neutral, five, six, I'm not rocking. Seven. Pull to the hip. Eight. Nine. Ten. Go for twelve. Two more. Final rep. And rest. That's a good weight for me. That's twenty-two kilos. Doing it with good control, I'm not trying to you know, rush it. And that is a, a good, good control movement there. So, yeah, you might, you might sort of feel like I'm rip it up and twist around. I'm barely moving, right? I'm, I'm eye setting this upper back, so left side now. Imagine just squeeze the shoulders back together. 12 reps, left side. Let's go. One. That's it, nice straight back. Pull towards the hip. Three, oh, I've lost count. Four, four. Oh, I don't know. Four. Five. Same tempo. Six. Seven. Eight. Uh, nine. Ten, two more. Eleven. Ah, oh, that's good. Here's a good back exercise there. I'm not a fan of that bent over rows being able to stand like this because I feel like your lower back kicks in, so by having your knee there and your hand there, you just take that away a little bit, you take, you support that 
and you can really focus on pulling with the back. I much prefer single arm rows. Well, I do like seated rows where you know, on a cable machine or I've got resistance bands. I actually have a broom handle and resistance bands where I just pull the broom handle towards the best. But you need a good you need a fixed point, like a really heavy rack or and like a, a post or something. Right, second set, let's go straight back in. So I'm back on the, I was just doing that. Oh, I forgot what channel I was using. Start this way. Right arm, yeah, right. Okay, so right side. Here we go, 10 to 12 reps again. Okay, let's go. One. Two. Slow reps, put it towards the hip. Three. Five, that's a good pull. Put it towards the hip. Six. Seven. Oh, it's heavy. Eight. Nine. Ah, three more. Not, don't rotate, put it towards the hip. Let's go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine. To control all the way down, remember. Pull 11. <sighs> ah. Right, one more of those. It's a good back exercise, this. My favourite. I like pull ups. Pull ups and this. Right, we've got one more set. So, right and left. Then we're going to that final arm press where we rotate and press up. Good move that. Right, you ready? Right side again. 12 reps. In three, two, one, let's go strong. One last set. And this should be heavy. Four. On the last few reps, it should be difficult. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Grab the rest. Four more. Nine. Ten. Uh, Eleven. Last rep. Squeeze and lower. Ah, oh. ah, oh, it's killed me that. Okay, same again. Left side. Doing good. We've been going about just over 28 minutes. Okay. Right, here we go. Last side. Left arm. Let's go. One, two, back nice and straight, pull to the hip, three, four, six, halfway, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, pull it in, eleven, Right, get rid of those. Let's 
Let's start the last move now. So mid-sized weights, or if you really need to, your shoulders exhausted, you can go for the light ones. Okay, last three, so the last three sets. As I said, you start here, and we come up, you rotate, and come back. Really works the shoulders. Right, so this is it. Let's go another, starting 20 seconds. Okay, you ready? So, dumbbells up. If you've got any strength left, oh, right. So from here, we come up, we're gonna do 10 reps if we can. Let's go. So push up, rotate one, come down, push again, two. So slowly rotate. Three, good, rotate. Four, five, six, Go and pretend that he's heavy. Seven. Eight. Ooh. Two more. Nine. Oh, they're heavy. Ah, oh, that's a hard move. Oh, what's with that? It's no, it sort of doesn't. Doesn't get any rest, is it? Okay, two more of them. And that is our back and shoulder strength workout complete. All right. That's another minute. struggle with them, you can obviously go to the lighter weights. But we're trying to keep the tension on the shoulders. Rotate, press, rotate. It's almost like a pet fly, you know, those old pet machines would come into that position there. You almost have to tense the chest and then press out of it. Okay, second set, ready? Let's pick them up. Okay. Right, three, two, one, let's go. So, rotate. Two. Three, excellent. Make a meet. Make the top and bottom four. Seven. Really hard now. Eight. Okay, these are the strength ones. Come on. These two count the most. Uh, last rep. Uh, shoulder's gonna snap. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. I'm happy with that. One more set. Final set, we're going to have 40 seconds time. Same reps, yeah, just go for 10. Nice, clean, controlled reps. Oh, my shoulders, that hurts lifting them up. I've enjoyed this one. It's been a good session. I tell you, every time we walk away from one of these sessions, we can, we can put hand on heart and say, we have pushed ourselves. You know, whatever your weights are, it's not about competing with me, it's about you getting the weights that on the 8th, 9th, 10th rep, you're struggling. It could be 5 kilograms, 6 kilograms, it could be whatever it is for you, but your strength's gonna, your, it's, the strength curve is incredible. If you're first getting into strength and you start to get so strong really quick, 
it gets much harder as you get stronger to sort of lift heavy weights, but you're gonna see some real progress in the first few months of lifting weights. Okay, ready? So last set, I'll do these side on. Okay, so here we go, ready? 10 good reps. One. Two. Three. Four. Come on, doing 10 of these. Come on, five. Six. Ooh, last set. Seven. Ah, really hard now. Eight, okay, two more. Nine, last rep. Final rep, Joe. Come on, push. Rotate, slowly down. Ah. Ah. That hurt, that last set. There we go, day number four complete of my 21 days to strength challenge. New video coming tomorrow and every day until the 21st September. Tomorrow's gonna be legs and abs. So tune in, thanks again for joining me. If you are enjoying the workouts, please hit subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family. There's loads of workouts from beginner, right through some more advanced stuff, even kids workouts and workouts for seniors and chair-based workouts. There's loads on here and I love it. So thanks again and I'll see you soon.